starting all early. Now, there are two issues <laughs> with this. I'm filming into the light. I can't, I can't put the phone thingy on the table that I weave on because it judges too much when I when I beat the heddle. And also I've got, that way, I've got Tweaky working, who is quite noisy. So it could be I record this whole thing and it's utter rubbish, but we'll give it a go because I'm up, I'm about, it is just after nine o'clock, I think. I am pajambling this morning, so please forgive me. Stole that phrase from lovely Lisa from Instagram and I love it and these are again my um my llama pajamas and they're so warm I don't tell anyone but nobody else is home so I thought do you know what I'm gonna get up and get on it straight away um do a bit of weaving before I actually go and make myself decent it's all right isn't it no one's gonna see <laughs> so. so we'll give this a try so I um, sorry, Tweaky's just stopped. It's distracting, isn't it? It's like having a small child playing. <coughs> I showed you the whizzed up video yesterday, me weaving. So I just thought I'd do this whilst talking because actually, to be honest, if you're just watching weaving, it's a little bit, you know, repetitive and samey. So you'll see that I have the... <laughs> The loom is set up, as I said before, on a high table. It's four foot long, the loom. So it's, yeah, that long. So I can't stand in one place or sit at the loom. Because also, the other thing is when I, these are my stick shuttles. And when I use these, they don't reach right across. Interestingly, Bit banal this but I can throw it from left to right and it goes straight through throw it right to left and it gets caught so I have to feed it from right to left and I think maybe it's something to do with my um this fair, I know. something to do with uh my right hand obviously I, I perhaps slightly angle the shuttle or something there are uh you can use and you would have seen the traditional boat shuttles which I've got, but I don't know where. I did buy one because they are beautiful pieces of wood and really tactile. But uh, for whatever reason, they don't work with the way I weave these blankets. I think probably, uh, do forgive me, keep looking away from the camera. I think probably because I weave uh, it's a bit like, uh, for those knitters out there, it's a bit like knitting on uh, larger needles with a finer yarn. So it, it's slightly unexpected. And so what I do is when I weave the blankets, uh, the the set I use, which is what it's called with weaving, S E double T, um, is uneven. Uh, so I have a different number of um, rows, if you like, per inch on the weft as I do on the warp, which means basically that the warp is um, more spaced out than the weft. Therefore throwing a stick through means there's more gaps it can fall down rather than having all the all the yarn quite close together. That's my theory. Of course it could just be that I'm a rubbish weaver and that's why it doesn't work. But my experience is this, yeah, stick shuttles. That's five minutes of your life you're not going to get back now. Anyway, so I'm working on this blanket. I use mostly fingering weight yarn. Um, although people send me fingering weight yarn, I do actually prefer weaving with uh, heavier weight yarns. Like, uh, well, I like weaving with mixed, mixed weights. 
because I think it gives the blanket fabulous texture. And hand spun is just wonderful. I'll show you, I, I happen to have washed my, my first kind of, well, I kind of did it as a, an attempt at a fade blanket um, a couple of years ago. And I used my hand spun um, because it was chunky and I mixed it up with some scraps and I really like it. I love the effect. Um, but as I say, people mostly send me the, the blankets I make to commission, which um, I'm not taking anymore just at the moment. But um, people send me around about seven, 800 grams of their leftovers, of their scrap yarn. Uh, it can be anything from five grams, two grams, up to entire skeins. And I put it all together, I have a look at it, and I mix it all up. And I weave with it. And as I said, I think before, I don't, I don't plan it so much. And when I teach, I always say to the students, let the loom guide you. Sounds a bit hippy dippy, but when you weave the colors turn out they're not predictable um, in this kind of way by by putting together loads of different colors you don't always know um, what they're going to look like and so it's best i find not to plan and then to pick and choose as you go along i'll show you the box i've got left of the scraps and where we're at so this is this is what we got left. These are all the scraps. There are some. <coughs> really? That's the co-host again, demanding a pay rise. Um, there's some slightly, I've used oh, that one, there's slightly more. But mostly, they really are all leftovers. Wow, I seem such a long way away. I just wanted to share my sweater with you that I'm wearing today, a cardigan. It's the Calligraphy Cardigan by Sham Cook. And I made it a few years ago. It was really big for me then, and now it's not. But it's, it's really pretty, it's quite, quite long. It's, it's, dro it's stretched a lot, which is the problem when you're large and you knit something out of superwash wool. It does give a lot, um, especially if it's sort of a, a big pattern as well. So I'll come a bit closer. So there's the, this collar thing, which I wear like that. And then I just put, oh look, <laughs> evenly spaced buttons there. Okay, just a bit of a knitting moment here i'm changing from on the sweater from five millimeter needles to five and a half but the five and a half require the large cables so that isn't going to happen so i could go and get a large cable and transfer it totally or in my great um wisdom heart at one point I purchased some adapters. I don't know if anybody else has these. So basically they screw into um, the small join. I'll, I'll tighten that up with the rubber thing in a minute. And then you could put the larger needles on without having to faff around changing the cable. At least you will do in a moment. So I quite like that. It's just a small thing, but um, I thought I'd share it with you. Well, it's that time of day again. It's about half past four. It's starting to get dark outside, so I think I will uh, sign off for today. There's nothing I could think of <laughs> interesting or exciting happening this evening. Gary will be home late-ish tonight. He's on his way back down from the Midlands today and Hannah is still at uni. So I am gonna take this opportunity to sit down and do a bit of knitting. Can I just 
share with you, just to prove. Look at that. It's a body of a sweater, obviously. So uh, I cast on the rib. I got the rib done last night whilst watching Mrs. Miracle. Did I say that this morning? I don't know. But anyway, um, I sat and did the rib and then this afternoon, my lovely friend Jen has been round and we knit and natter and put the world to rights. And so I got some of the body done. So I'm really pleased because I've got real startitis setting in, but I'm not letting myself cast anything on at the moment because I know I want to get that sweater done. So if I work on that for the next week, I mean, look, that's, that probably I did an inch in an hour. So I could put, you know, put a film on, get another couple of inches done. So you never know. And then I want to cast on, oh, I want to knit socks and I want to knit gloves, basically. I've got, very quickly, because this is meant to be signing off. I did a segment on this yesterday and then I deleted it because it was rubbish. But I have that book and I have its kind of sister book by the same author. And there's a lot of inspiration in there. And the other thing is the, the mittens I want to knit are all sport weight and I don't have sport weight yarn. Well, I do, I have one lot and it's a sweaters quantity, so I'm not gonna pull out a skein just to use that. Um, and I could do the maths, but do I really want to that much? Maybe. And I'm not, at the moment, I'm not using Ravelry, so I've got enough books to find patterns in there anyway, I'm sure, with some colour work mittens. Anyway, that's digression again, and I keep saying anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, one final thing to show you, my, as I said, my friend Jen came around and she'd seen my, my little bit about plants yesterday, my plant pots, and actually somebody mentioned it as well in the comments. And, Jen collects Palissy China, so which is this, and because she lives in the country, um, in a farm cottage, turn that round. So she has made a point of this. We've both I've collected this before, but not the birds, the game birds. So it's made by. Can't remember. Jen, who is it made by? Palissy, I guess. Anyhow, the handle had broken off this, so she glued it back on and she said, would I like it for my plants? How cool is that? So she's now on an instruction to break lots of things so that I can have plant holders. So I know I said I was gonna repot this and I will do, but look, oh, it's wonky. How perfect is that? So until I repot this, which should be in the next few days, that will live in there. And then I've got some other cuttings that Gaynor gave me that will go in there. So I'm really tickled with that. Thank you, Jen. So that's it, I think. Uh, Henry's sitting outside the back door asking to come in. Honey's sitting this side of the door, but she doesn't want to go out. She just wants me to get up and open the door. And then she'll stand there looking at me. And we'll both get cold, so I'm not gonna do it. No. I hope you've had a good day. Actually, it occurred to me that some people who've been messaging me, this is an early morning thing for them. So if you're over somewhere in the uh, Western time zone, uh, yeah, you'll be, behind us so it may be that yeah i hope you have a very good day ahead of you um oh, i can't believe the amount of time i waffle on this shouldn't be allowed really uh, have a lovely evening and i shall look forward to seeing you tomorrow which is my first week back at weight watchers for a weigh-in do, 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 do. i've been good i've been tracking so we shall see what my week one results are.